Howdy, howdy. This is Blue Otter, and today we're playing Dungeon Tycoon. So we need to name a... Name the dungeon. We're going to call it the Otter's Den of Shadows. We're going normal. Let's go ahead and start. Alright. Welcome, Master I am delighted to see you are finally awake. It has been quite lonely here without your presence. This place is a total mess, I know, but I have no worries we can fix it. We'll start attracting delicious adventures in no time. Let's start off by building a door. You can do that by clicking on the build button in the lower left corner. Then just select the door tab and choose a door you like. I said door way too many times. Okay, so we're gonna select a door. We are doing the tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna try to have this line up. Right there. Next, let's build a chest to store the loot of fallen heroes and monsters. Okay, so we need to build a chest. Uh, vendors, no. Uh, oh, chests. Loot containers. We're gonna do a wooden chest. We did start with 3,000, I believe. Um, how do we... How do we rotate items? Oh, R for rotate. So we're gonna put that right there. Nice job. Now let's build a spawner so that you can summon me to deal with the filthy adventurers who dare step into your mighty dungeon. Go to the spawners tab and build a small spawner. Which I believe is right here. Yeah, small spawner. Alright there. Very nice, but now I can even hardly see anything. Let's light up the place with some torches. Go to the light tab and build two wall torches light we have wall torch we're gonna have there so decorations is gonna help give us to max rating uh, satisfaction also uh, we need two of these so let's place another one right there nice job master I knew you still had it now go out of build mode and assign me to the spawner uh, you can do that by clicking the spawner and then clicking the change button. So we gotta go out of exit. We're gonna click to assign monster. We need to come over here to change. And we only have this one monster. Finally, this feels amazing. Now you can decorate the dungeon to your liking. Time for some research. Start your first research. Now you can do that by clicking on the book icon in the upper left, then clicking on the research mode. Uh, so right here research we have potion business don't forget to look at the quest panel upper left corner of the screen start the next day whenever you're ready upper right of the screen okay let's exit out of that okay so let's go real quickly over this so we have an overview we have things that this is partially covering up uh, or maybe my my name is a little too long Entrance fee is $10. Nobody's dying. Satisfaction is kind of eh. Uh, we have some different stats here. Uh, bestiary, or bestiary is at 3%. 0% for research. Okay, so we want to try to unlock all the animals that we are, the creatures. Uh, we would go here, I think, to spawn monsters. Here's our research. We do have to exit out of each one. Uh, this one is finances, so we can see how everything looks. And then we have, here's our, hold on. What is this, what is this tab? Quests. So self buy potions. Well, we don't have the potions unlocked yet. And research one item in the research tree. And this gives us these points that then we are going to be able to use that to unlock things down here. Uh, 
Okay, and then we have... Here's all the creatures that we can... Let me get some of these look interesting. That looks cool. That looks like a goat. Okay. But we are going to... I don't really know what all I want to do just yet. We're going to... Okay, so this is right mouse button and angling the mouse. Uh, so let's go in and start our day. Now let's wait for our first visitor. There's our little spider. We can kind of speed it up. Can we speed it up? No. We gotta, we gotta watch it. Okay. So he paid his, his 10 gold. He's gonna come in. Sorry, I guess I was too rough on them. When heroes die, they get really annoyed, and that can affect your dungeon's popularity negatively. But hey, you earned a soul. You can use that to do really cool stuff. Anyways, let's try this again. So we are just observing. And during the day, you can't really do anything, so you can fast forward. You can also go to skip. Um, so he did defeat him. Ouch, that hurt. But you can see how happy the adventurer got. Building a dungeon is all about optimizing fun so the heroes keep coming. Make sure to strike a good balance between keeping them happy and annoying them with cheeky traps. I guess you're ready to run your own dungeon now. Don't forget, striking a good balance is key. Good luck, my lord. Okay, so now can we... Yeah. So we're just going to speed up so we can watch. Uh, th that's really not kind of fair. So they defeat the monster. The monster brings the gold over here. And then they go and get the gold. Meanwhile, my monster is working on respawning. Yeah, this two on one's really not fair on on my spider here. All right, so research is completed though. We're gonna finish the day to unlock. And there's the end of the day. So research is complete. You have unlocked the potion dispenser. The potion dispenser allows visiting heroes to purchase potions whenever they need a quick heal. So horrible loot. I wish there were more monsters to kill. Too little monster variety. Well, you know. And we had one that didn't make it back out. Alright. So we can... Click to collect that one. Uh, we can collect an extra 150 gold. And then right here we have different things that we can do. We can do a defense totem, more rooms, attack totem, and energy potion. I want to do more rooms. So we need 15 visitors to, to do that. So what I would like to do... is let's let's summon a new monster because this is gonna be this is gonna be where it's gonna be fun so we have the underworld we have this the inferno which includes different different monsters and that requires 25 souls and 2500 gold this one's gonna require the forest is gonna require 50 souls and 5000 gold so, but right now we are just in the underworld. And it looks like these two are spiders and I think that's a gelatinous cube. So we're going to pick another, well, a crawler. Okay, sorry, not a gelatinous cube. That's a thing. Uh, a slime. 
Okay, so we're gonna keep a crawler. Let's add... We can add a potion dispenser right over here. And then we can do... Where's the spawner? We're gonna do a second spawner. Uh, right here. And then we can do a trap. Right in front of the... Uh, right in front of the box. We don't have any miscellaneous objects. Decoration? Nothing. We have nothing. Okay. I think we have to unlock a bunch more stuff. So let's maybe put in a second trunk. We can always sell it later. And we're going to put in a... Hold on. That is a trap. That, that's a small spawner. Okay. We're going to do the little... I thought... I thought that looked a little busy. Okay. I thought that looked a little big for a, a spike trap. But... Okay, so now I have two spiders and two chests. We can exit out of here. Oh, but we do need to click here. We're going to add the other crawler. So we have two crawlers. And... Okay, we want to make sure that we have research going, which we do. And... Okay, so sell five potions and host 12 visitors in a day. So we will, we will work on those. So let's go ahead and start the day. Yeah. Yeah. When they're by themselves, it's probably going to be a bit much. But when you have two people like that, they can go in. And you can come in here and you can, like, increase the cost of the potion dispenser. Okay. But they don't like that cost, so they're going to not not purchase it. Now you only get like five potions every day. See, and now they just defeated that one. But now that one's going to come in after them. Bit of money from some potions. He keeps having to retreat, yet he's not having a good time. Alright, two little monster variety. Okay, yeah. But we have a 16% satisfaction. Not the best, but. That's still, that's still something. Okay. Now, where are we on this? Oh, we have four visitors left. And here we need 12 visitors in one day, and we need to sell five potions. So we'll probably get this one tomorrow. So, let's see. I don't think I have anything else. We could, we could add more rooms, but I think we'll do, we'll do maybe one more day like this and then once we get some stuff unlocked, because we'll have dirt, 
No, we might not get that one just yet. Already sold. Yeah, so we've we've completed our research and we can collect that one. Oh, potion in 10 by 10 room has and I believe you can you can even rename them so you could call this like foyer. Research is complete. We have now have more rooms. Uh, incredible loot. Uh, still don't like the monster. Right, so we're going to Soul Reaper. Chance for heroes to drop plus one souls. That would be awesome. But I think we're going to do this one. Nope. Oh, I need nine. To do that. Unlocks energy potion dispenser. We're gonna do... We'll do a defense totem. Alright, so what do we have here? We have additional rooms. Everything that we want is outlined in here in... It had the little exclamation marks. So one of the things we can do is you can have like this that comes out and we could or we could do like so and do a small yeah we'll like that uh, now to do that we need we do need a door so there is two doors Let's come over here. Let's summon a new monster. What do we have? I'm pretty sure I know what those are. I kind of want this one though. Oh yeah, the Wraith is one of my favorites. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna take this one. And you know what? I think we can summon a second monster. So let's see if we can get the Wraith again. Yes. Or, sorry. Yeah, the Wraith. Alright. So now we have four. And we're going to do a monster spawner. Right there. We'll have a chest. We're going to do another chest over here. And a second spawner right over here. Can we afford... No, we cannot afford that one. Uh, but what we can do is... Under lighting, we're going to add a wall torch. One. No, we'll add a second one. So this one is going to have our wraith. 
And this one will have our giant bat. In the dark. All right, so let's go ahead and now we now we're gonna attract twelve visitors in a day, so we should be able to get this one, uh, hosting visitors, kill visitors. Uh, so maybe our wraith might be able to do something. Let's go ahead and start our next day. Day four starts. We'll have two spiders. And they might come over here. I'm going to try to get another potion dispenser out here in the room with the wraith. I completely forgot about putting traps. I should, could probably move these traps over here a bit. Let's look over at how they... Okay, well, they just defeated the Wraith. having fun. I don't think we we have completed our research. And I believe that yeah, that's the end of the day. from I believe 4 to 11 so that's probably a little a little deadly okay so we did get our defense totem nice monster variety I could use a heal right now well I would like to be able to do that but I need some income um, okay so we can do more visitors permanently get one extra visitor per day uh, soul reaper transfer here is to drop uh, unlocks a variety of iron objects. That would be really good because then we could actually have some more more items to decorate the rooms. I could increase my monsters, but I'm not going to be able to add anybody to just yet. So there's really I'm going to probably keep these monsters for a bit. Um, I think I want to. I'm tied between these two and I think I'm gonna go with iron props now if like say I want to switch it over here um, you're already researching something else complete that okay so it's not gonna let you switch over I think in the demo or at one point when I played this if you switched over you just like lost all your progress okay so this one we're going to we had 12 visitors in one day and we killed seven visitors so that's Good, all right, so we get dirt and we get some extra income. Awesome, so we have sell potions and research one item in the research tree. Okay, the thing that I really wanted, uh, now we did have a defense totem. Uh, we could place this like right in here. Uh, did that... Hold on. I wanted to... Before I do that, though... I wanted to have a second potions vendor... Right here. So that means I've already got... The ability to sell 10 in one day. We've already got... We've got everyone up. So let's go ahead and start... Our day. Well, 
we're going through. No one's left the spider room just yet. We can rename this one the Bat Cave. probably need to check my overview to actually see how I am on this. This makes it for a challenging entry point, but especially if they're coming in, sometimes you have like four or five at a single time. Uh, your dungeon has reached 0.5 stars. I usually also have these hallways like littered in traps. And he's got to get out. This is where like you, you don't try to fight them. You literally just, if he had just gone through the door. Uh, so we got about 50%. Uh, we only killed four, so that's good. We had 13 people visit and we actually made a little bit of money. Okay, let's look at an overview. So we're actually pretty good with our with our KO ratio. We do want to get over a little bit more, a little bit higher. And you need to host 100 visitors to unlock 500 and 1,000. Okay. So we are still, we, we're two visitors shy of our research. Here's our different creatures there. Ooh, it looks like we have another crawler. And neither one of these. This one we need, okay, so this one we need a prestige of 1.5. Here we need a prestige of three. Oh, and it, it even highlights the number of stars that we need, okay. And then we can be having like four going on at once. Okay, so we are at the end of the day. And we are starting to get higher tiered visitors. Let's see. Uh, see that star right on top? That's the prestige level of your dungeon. It will fill with a purple color as you build more and more impressive things in your dungeon. Your prestige determines the quality of your visitors. As you attract visitors and manage to keep them satisfied, a golden color will start, will start filling your stars. That means your dungeon has proved itself to be a fun dungeon and it will determine the quantity of your visitors. Uh, but what I really want is I want some items. We could do a defense because we could do a defense up here, but there's, yes, things are challenging, but nothing's really super challenging just yet we're gonna have that's that's mean uh, we'll have a second one over here and we'll have a third one right there okay so we've added a couple traps over here uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna start our day we can can we get this guy let's view our monster we could level up this monster if we wanted to. It would give them a little bit more. Okay. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and level up our wraith. Um, and let's start our new day. So we've got some traps in here that they're going to come across.
like to see if I can get another bat. That would be cool. Oh, click on him. What? I think I had a thief going through my dungeon. I also had leveled up to tier two. Can I click on... Hugo Mason. Giles Fletcher. Okay, here's our level two ranger. They have potion. Yeah, and they leveled up. They're not too happy, it seems like, but... Or maybe that is... I can't tell if that's they're happy or they're sick. Yeah, the very first one that I played this when I played, there's Hugo Jackson's leveled up to tier two. I mean, not enough money. Well, have you tried going to the. Yeah, I've only got one more potion over there. And we're out of potions on this side. Edmund Knight has leveled up to tier two. into the room uh, so if I remember correctly when at the end of the day anything that's left in the chest it becomes ours so this gives us a lectern an iron sconce and an iron urn I uh, wish there were more monsters to kill we have a 55% approval rating on this okay so that's actually pretty good uh, the iron chest, that's that's good. That gives a bigger capacity. Uh, sell some of your souls in return. I don't have enough for that one. We could... If I do the iron chest, then I could, I could replace the two chests in the front room. Uh, we're going to do more visitors. Okay, what did I research? Click to collect. Oh, we got both of them. Sell potions, 11. Uh, research one item in the research tree, which we did. So now we need to kill 13 visitors and host 14 a day. Okay, so we will have this one. We have a small painting. You have unlocked small painting. Uh, let's go down and look at this because we have some ability to... Here's an iron sconce. So, like, we could have an iron sconce. Let's see. Can we lower this down? Let's see, like, you could have that. Um, and then decoration, you can have a small painting. Goes right there. And then you could have a lectern. So, see, the story behind this is that the Wraith was actually a teacher who went to professional development and passed away. And there was like, well, no, teachers are nice. Uh, at least most of them are. Uh, the saying goes is that the as a, as a teacher I if I were to if I were to pass on I wish to do so on at professional development because the transition from life to death would be so subtle I might not even notice okay 
So, we still have the same monsters. We can't afford anything else unless I were to sell something. And I think we've got a pretty decent setup. We're slowly adding to some stuff. So, what I might do is I might go through a couple of days and see if I can't rack up some money and get some... Um, finish out some quests complete some research and just so we can add on to this so we are day seven We have incredible loot, nice monster variety. They would love some heals. What do we have? Okay, host 14 visitors. We're about halfway there. Room at max beauty. Have one room at max beauty. You can collect additional money. Let's move this over. Okay, so to do max beauty, you have, yeah, this one's at like 58%. So you have beauty and light, luminosity or lighting. Uh, what else do we have over here? We have loot containers. Oh, we have the iron urn. Now this one has like a chest capacity of 10, 20, and 5. So like this one, I could put this over here and take out the chest, but I'm not going to. Uh, let's see, can we do anything? We do have some money. So we could see if we want to summon a new monster. Yeah, we could summon a new monster, see if we have anything else. This may be interesting. Ooh, this one would be cool. <laughs> Have two wraiths in that room. Let's look at this one. Ooh, yeah. A slime. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna exit out here. We're going to change. And we're gonna change that so that it's the slime this time. And we can't quite level him up. Do we have, we need one research, one visitor left for research. We'll have that done. 
Uh, we might have this one done today or tomorrow. And I actually need decorations to be able to get to Max Beauty. So let's go ahead and start the next day. I can raise the admission price yet. the day they just gotta get through these guys out what is our rank at 0.62 we have a plus one visitor dungeon will permanently attract plus one visitors um, so this went down quite a bit I think because they they didn't appreciate how many of them did not make it back out uh, we could do more monsters let's do we could do prestige buffs here satisfaction and interest entrance also look okay so there's the underworld unlock five more perks in the dungeon basics to access this page you need to unlock this realm first in the forest okay Ooh. okay uh let's do let's do the iron chest Because I really, I don't have anything that I can add. I mean, I could put... What is it, 90? I could put one here and one here. We're gonna go with that. We have nine visitors, which we'll get we'll get this one today. And then Yeah. We're almost there, so we'll have this one. And as soon as I can unlock some start unlocking some props, I can get the rooms beautied up so I can get that one.
you can also do this so I can like loot. Oh, I can I can lock it. Used to be you used to be able to swipe the Wait, where is this? Giles Jackson. He oh he's tier two. He's an ice wizard. I like that they've named the individuals and that they kind of have custom names. Uh, when I've played before with the demo and I've, I've played with the prologue, this game, they all basically had the same name. About the only suggestion that I could really make that I would like to see is uh, possibly to have where you, you go through this as like a first person and be able to actually walk through. We did complete our research. Yeah, if I added a second specter here, I, they would be like unstoppable. What was that? Oh, he leveled up. Okay. See, he's gonna back up and he's gonna trip the trip the trap. goes so slow. Yeah, I want to add another specter. I bet I could do it. Ballander is leveled up to tier 2. So you have unlocked the iron chest. All right, so we have, we're back up to 50% of approval. And only five past, well, we had 16, which there were more monsters, too little monster variety, okay. So we did unlock this one. We need 14 potions. We can get a skull. Awesome. So what's our next, what's our next one? Oh, potions and beauty. Okay, let's look at research. What research? I did not mean to click that. 
uh, but we're going to go with it. Um, adds a chance for monsters to spawn as lucky, which drop more gold when killed. Okay. So, not bad. Let's... Look and see. Okay, so we've got... We've got the iron chest. So the iron chest holds 50. So see, like, I could put one of these here. And that could easily... That could, like, replace both of these. So we're going to... Come back over here. We can delete... Uh, we'll move this right there. Delete and delete. So that kind of gets us our money back on that one. Now, can we put any more rooms over there? Okay, we are about at... We're about at the edge. So let's... Build a small room there. Oh, this this is the hallway that I typically use instead of this other one. Uh, just to put that into perspective of size, it's one shorter. So instead of it being four, it actually would be three. Let's... Can we... Keep hitting escape. Can we move these? Right there. Uh, we're gonna move this to right here. And this room... Can we... Okay, this one we can move over to here. Hold on. I think these have to be... I, I don't think we can have like ones that aren't touching. So we're just going to move this temporarily right here. And then over here, we can now, we can get rid of this one. Are you sure you want to destroy this room and everything inside? Yes. That gave us a lot of money, so we're going to have to do that in reverse now. It, it's like a Hanoi puzzle, basically. Uh, we're just going to move that there. Because I, I did like the level. We're just going to have this. We actually have that go right there. And this goes right here. Uh, now we're going to... We're going to need to move some stuff around. And then here, just go right there. A door. And this gets moved right there. So I could easily have this be like so, and we're just going to have spike traps. There we go. That, that's all that room is going to be. Uh, we could, we could do... There we are. 
light on either side, but it is a trap. It is a trap room, and I don't have anything over. Cause see, there's the six by twelve. Here's a nine by nine. Okay, can't quite afford that room. So that would be cool is to have the nine by nine and then have another room. So kind of start turning this into a, a maze of rooms. Okay, do we, we have the research. Lucky monsters, I did not mean to pick it, but it, it is what it is. All right, do we have anything? Oh, we could do we could do a skull. Um, decoration, a skull. There. Now it is at a seventy-four percent. So when I hover over it. You can see in the lower right corner, I'm at 74% for this one. So I think if I unlock the, the poster that I want, or the poster, the painting that I want over here, and maybe a couple more things, and this room will be at 100%. All right, so let's go ahead and start the day. Everyone prepare. Now the, the fun thing about this trap room is that they'll go in there, but there's absolutely nothing there because this is just a, a waypoint to get from one room to the next. If anything, what we might do is we might put a pot in there because then if a hero dies, all their money will go into that pot. Of them. Yeah, we need to add another specter. Can I really quickly just looking at the overview? Can we raise by one? And we're already at the end of the day. So yeah. Having the the two potion dispensers, that's that's also helping. Oh, in the day is not end of day. Okay, so we've got seven more people left. Lionel Mason has leveled up. So here's he just goes in and all he all they're doing is they're just going in and they're just triggering the traps. That's it. Because one thing that this is doing, and this is a waypoint again. They're happy when they can finally get through the race. Okay, we're at 0. 0.68. Six visitors left, so we will get that. To, we'll finish our research tomorrow.
Leon Mason is leveled up to two. Albert Knight. Okay, he was happy because he leveled up. So that appears to be end of day. End of day. Yeah, I wish there were more monsters to kill. We are working on it. This has been Dungeon Tycoon. Thank you for watching and have a great day.